My name is Hiyu Shinagao. I'm a first year master's student at Soka University. Today, I'm going to talk about a hydrogen sensor using heterocore optical fiber based on AU-W3PT thin film. In recent years, businesses using hydrogen have been attracting attention in order to realize a decarbonized society. For this reason, there is need to develop sensors that can detect hydrogen quickly and safely. Conventional research has utilized optical fibers that have excellent explosion proof properties against hydrogen, which is highly pyrophoric. Most of them use PD. The problem is the sensor deteriorates due to repeated hydrogen absorption. It is known that W3 is a material that can undergo repeated redox reactions with hydrogen and oxygen, as shown in these two equations. Since this reaction is reversible, so we thought it would improve the durability compared to PD. Therefore, the purpose of this research is to develop a W3 hydrogen sensor. The principle of the proposed sensor is based on an optical phenomenon called SPR. It means surface plasma resonance. In order to utilize SPR, we employ the heterocar structure fiber. The fiber is made of two different core diameters by fusion splicing. Optical fiber has a high degree of robustness. They are less susceptible to EMI and a high explosion proof. The experimental configuration and the condition are shown in this figure. In order to evaluate the proposed sensor, we conducted two kinds of experiments. One is whether it responds to hydrogen, and the other is whether it is reproducible as a sensor. The results are shown in the following figure. Although the proposed sensor showed a response to hydrogen, it would suggest that the surface of W3 deposit by RF sputtering method was low. In the time response experiment to verify the reproducibility of the sensor, it was found that the sensor acquired relatively stable optical loss, even when the gas was switched. But it was also found that the time for W3 to react with hydrogen and oxygen was insufficient at 1080 seconds. There are two things we have learned through these experiments. The first is the useful wavelength band can be controlled by the thickness of W3 thin film. And the second is that the proposed sensor is reproducible as a hydrogen sensor. So that's all. I will introduce the detail later. Thank you very much for your attention and I look forward to working with you today.